Hello children, this is Ms. Poonam here, back again with another story. This story is called The Wonderful Journey of Water. The Wonderful Journey of Water. What is this wonderful journey of water? Ms. Poonam has written this story for you and she is also going to narrate it to you. So now let's find out what is this wonderful journey of water. Meena and Rita are sisters. They go to school finish their school, come back home, have quick lunch, quickly finish their homework and in the, it's 5 o'clock in the evening and they are ready to go out to play in the garden. Mama, we are going to the garden to play. Mama comes up to say bye to them and sees, looks up and sees, oh my God, it looks like black clouds in the uh, sky. Meena, Please look after your little sister and don't get wet in the rain. Be careful. Don't worry, Mama. We will be back before it starts raining. And they go out to the garden to play. Just as they go there, they find so many friends over there and they start playing. They play lots of games. They play with their ball. They play with their uh, skipping rope and they play hide and seek kinds of games and they have so much fun. Suddenly there is a little drizzle and all the children start running back home. It's rain, it's going to rain, it's going to rain and they run back home. Rita asks Didi, where does rain come from? Before her sister can answer her, it starts drizzling and they both take quick steps and reach back home just in time with twinkle in their eyes and smiles on their faces they sit in their veranda to enjoy the rain they put stretch out their legs to get their feet wet they stretch out their arms to get the water rain water in the cup of their hands and again we does the deep where does rain come from Oh, I learned, I'll tell you, Rita, I learned about this in my school, about the water cycle. Water cycle, Didi? You mean the raindrops come on their bicycle from the sky? And with that, she goes into a dream world, imagining all the raindrops coming on their bicycles and descending from the sky. Meena shakes her up and says, Rita, that was such a sweet imagination. That was very cute, my sister. I loved it. You are so good. Now listen to me carefully about the water cycle. The hot sun heats up the water in the rivers, in the sea, oceans, lakes. The hot water then evaporates in the form of steam. And this steam is also called water vapor. Now this water vapor is very light so it starts rising up and it says we are flying, we are flying, we are flying. The hot sun looks at them, the vapor, and says, Hey water, I evaporated you to a vapor, to vapor, and now you are on a long journey. Have fun, enjoy your journey. As the vapor rises up, the, cold, the air becomes cold. Oh, we are flying high, we are flying high, say the water vapor. We will soon touch the sky. And as they rise up, the cold air condenses them into water droplets. The water droplets now say, let's stay together and form the clouds. And they stay together and they start forming clouds. And the wind blows and blows the clouds from this side to this side. 
this side to this side. And the more water droplets join the clouds, more water droplets join the clouds and they all stick together and the clouds start getting very heavy. And as the clouds start getting heavy, they feel they cannot stay there and they, have, they are going to fall. But they don't mind falling because their falling down is their journey back home. So they say, it's fine. Even the moment we drop, we will say, hooray. And that's what happens. All the water droplets start coming down, falling down. And they say they are heavy and they say, hooray, we are going back home. We are heading back home. And now these water droplets in the form of rain, the water precipitates in the form of rain, hail and snow and goes into, seeps into the ground. And the rest of the water goes and joins the river and the river water takes, uh, the river takes the water to the sea. And this is called the water cycle. Once again the journey begins of the water when the water starts to go up into the air in the form of vapor, up into the air in the form of droplets and then precipitates back into the ground and from the rivers to the back into the sea. And this is called the water cycle. Nina tells Rita. Now repeat after me Rita. Evaporation is when the water turns into vapor. Condensation is when the vapor turns into water droplets. Precipitation is when the water droplets fall in the form of rain, snow and hail and seep into the ground or join the rivers and then back into the sea. Rita is so happy with her sister for learning about the water cycle. And she says, Didi, should we go back into the rain? It is still drizzling. Let us celebrate the coming back home of the water droplets before they begin their journey again. And as they go, they start dancing and singing in the rain and celebrate the coming back of the water droplets falling back on the ground before they begin their journey again. So, and Rita suddenly remembers that her teacher had taught her a poem. And she says, down come the rain drops one by one, sliding, gliding with such fun. Dancing on the sill, two, three, four, dashing, splashing, come some more. Peeping through the window, eight, nine, ten. Rapping, tapping, merry little men. Then out pops the sun and off they fly, as if by magic, back to the sky. Didi, she gives her a big hug. Now I know how the raindrops go back to the sky, Didi. That was so nice. It's so I'm so happy that I have an older sister who can teach me all new things. So she is very excited. Now, children, let us look at the picture of water cycle. This is when the hot sun heats up the water. And the water turns into vapor, evaporates in the form of vapor and goes up into cold air and the vapor condenses into water droplets and form clouds. Then more water droplets join and the clouds become very, very heavy and the Start water starts precipitating in the form of rain, snow or hail and seeps into the ground or gets into the river and the river finally reaches it into the sea. Once again the journey begins 
from vapor, evaporation, to condensation, to precipitation, and back again. This is the water cycle, my darlings. Listen to it, to the story a few times. There are many new words to learn in the story. As you listen to it a few times, you will remember all the words and remember what they really mean. Enjoy it, love it, and next time it rains, you know where the rain is coming from. Bye. See you soon once again.